Three, two, action. Sorry, my Zen got messed up. All right, three, two, one. Well, good evening. Welcome to another exciting edition of So Into Bourbon. I'm Glenn. This is Charlie. Charlie, we've got two bottles on the bar tonight. Why don't you tell them what they are? They're old Overholt. And these are really old, old Overholts. 11 year and 10 year. They're old Overholts. See which one's better. Let's do that. Okay, old Overholt, 11 year and 10 year. The 10 year is a 2023 release. The 11 year is 2024. Just picked this up last week at the distillery. This one. Where, where did this, I mean, this, this <laughs> so, one, and, and we've got some pictures and we'll post it, but this one's yeah, been a little. If you watch Bruzel, uh, you might have seen a Bruzel, some, some, some guy. guy. He started a YouTube channel. Not Most people don't know who he is. Um, but anyway, a recent episode, he was looking for this bottle for me because when he was in town and went bourbon hunting with him, I was telling him that's something I would like to have. Well, later on down the road, he found it somewhere else. I don't even remember where he bought this, maybe St. Louis or something. I don't, I don't remember, but <laughs> it sat in his car. It didn't sat. It sat in his truck. It didn't sat. It, it rolled it around. Sat, right, yeah. You've it, heard of Jefferson's Ocean. This is Brusel Age. Brusel's Ocean. Brusel's <laughs> truck aged. And we all know Brusel loves Jefferson's, right? He loves it. <laughs> so. so this has a little character and, and a lot of love. It has so a little character. First of all, we joke, thank you, yes, uh, Mr. Thank Brusel. You very we much. really appreciate it. Um, this is the Cast Strength Tenure, distilled in 2012. It is a 2023 release, and it is coming in at a whopping 121, 121 proof. Yep. So I think we should start there. Yeah. Mash bill, we don't know. Some say it's 80-20. We're pretty sure uh, old overhold smash bill is 80% rye, 20% malted barley. We think that that's what it is, but we couldn't find anything definitive that said that. So let's go with that. Question Re is, what's it taste like? That's right. Retail, right around 80 bucks. And so one thing that I'm curious about, is, okay. and we've talked about this recent, recently with some of the more aged rye whiskeys we've mm. tried, we haven't really cared for them as much as some of the younger ryes, right? Yeah, and, and that's always been the thing with rye, especially in craft distilling, mm. is rye matures and you get a lot more flavor out of it earlier. It is a nice time to be a fan of, of older aged ryes yes. because we're starting to get more of them. So I, we just did the old Overholt episode not too long ago. Overholt 114, which we really liked. I think that was like a two-year-old or something like that. No, I, I think it's four. four. Okay. I think it's four years old. Go back and watch it. Yeah, we'll link it in here somewhere. Uh, I really like that, and, and it's affordable. Mm -hmm. And find me another 11-year age stated and we just strength. we just did the Bullet 12-year rye, yep. which is a much lower rye content. It's barely a rye, I think. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. Oh no, that's a 95.5. Yeah, that's 95, an MVP. Five. That's 95, MVP. Five. Yeah, I was going to let you which go. Which was shocking. That yeah, we didn't like it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm eager to get I into didn't these. Didn't dislike it. It was okay. And it's fine. It was yeah. It was straight. It's lukewarm, right. but it was cheap. So I, I'm excited for this one. This Great one, color. Yeah, it has a nice kind of really cop copper color. <laughs> Sorry. Has <laughs> a copper color. Uh, doesn't cling to the glass all that great. It's it kind of I mean, makes a ring and then slides down. Yeah, it, it's interesting. It, it puts a ring around the top and, mm -hmm. okay, there it goes. It, it's starting to, it's a little oily. Yeah. 121 proof, I mean, let's nose this thing. Nose this. Good goo goo mooga. It's definitely rye. Yeah, big blast of ethanol. Yeah. It's a little hot, it's a little hot. Fresh pop, fresh pop, and it has been jostled it's, by Bruzel. so. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna blame it on Let's Bruzel. blame it, blame it on TJ. Blame it on. Nope. We're nope. not doing that. Okay. Not doing that. But seriously, to get back to Are you watching Menendez Brothers, by the way? No. What does it smell like when people are watching? What does it smell like? It smells like a rye. It's very rye. It's <laughs> Honestly, very. It's not. It's a very not proofy, super complex. proofy mean, spicy yeah. rye on the nose. It's got. There's a little sweetness there, but it, it there's a lot of rye it's spice. It's overwhelmed by the rye spice and the ethanol. And the ethanol. Yep. That's where that's what you watch us for our in-depth <laughs> eleven year rye nosing and tasting. Nosing. Let's taste it. <laughs> well, 
Well, no. Well, no. <laughs> I will say. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, you go. No, that's. I. That was very surprising. It's so surprising. <laughs> because the nose just didn't do a whole lot for me. It I wasn't was, bad. I'm going to tell you, I was real worried with <laughs> I that was nose. I was, I was real worried. But that's a really oh. nice tasting. Holy ride. crap. It's, it's got what you would expect from a high rye, higher proof rye whiskey. But then there's a really nice deep character to it almost like a more of a bourbon character yeah which it, i'm guessing comes from the you know 10 years in the barrel it's really nice rice spice gets you up front it's not overwhelming though it, it's a nice little solid like hey you know you're drinking a rye and then right in mid palate i got this blast of kind of bourbon sweetness yes uh, of whether that comes from the barrel or the malted barley or whatever. And then the finish is back to all rye and baking spice. There is a maltiness and almost like a, um, like a flowery, or not a, not a flower flower, like f baking flour. Mm -hmm. um, really like that. And it's also I, got, especially now the nose, when you go back to the nose, now some of the ethanols, yeah, Come it's, it's calmed it. down a lot. Now, it's still it's not... It's got that... There's still, a little bit of that barbecue character. Yep, um, but still not super complex. Yeah, and I got it, a little bit of that savory, barbecue-y like, on the, on that's the a good. That's well. a good catch there on the barbecue on the nose. I'm going to take one more right, sip of Yeah, I'm going to go back in on this. A little bit of a hint of a, a bubblegum uh, note there. Which I don't know what that means. I, well, have you ever chewed bubble gum? Never. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't get bubble gum. Where do you, where, where did you get bubble gum? Right up front. Really? Yep. On my, I guess that would be my third sip. A lot of that sweetness is gone, and now you're left with oaky rye spice, and that kind of mid palate sweetness kind of kicks in. Overall. I really Over like Holt. Over Holt. Overall Over Holt. Really like that one. What are you pouring now, Glenn? The old Over Holt 11 year cask strength, which was just released here in 2024. What's the retail on this one, Glenn? $100. Pour it all over my glass. Sorry, buddy. Usually you pour. That's why we have these rules. So, yeah, just pick this up at the. Jim Beam Distillery, when I picked up the old granddad, 16. Retail on this one? Just told you, $100. 100 bucks. So, about $20 more per year. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Which, and I guess they're a little more expensive at the, at the gonna, gift shop, yeah, right? Yeah, you're, you're so, always going to pay a little more for the gift shop, but the, the benefits of going to the distillery is, oh, uh, what is it? You can actually get it. Right. If they put it out. So, you know, feel free to take your chances at your local liquor store. So this one is not only a year older, but the proof has stepped down to 107.4. Still cast strength. Still cast strength. It is strength. still cast strength. There is no water in e either of these bottles. Which um, is, you can immediately I, tell on the nose. I'm very excited. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. You don't get that overwhelming ethanol. You get baking spice. You get the rye spice. And that you talked about flour or dough, yeah. kind of a doughy. Brandy. Yeah. Boy, that's right. awesome. I'm excited. That's awesome. This is an excellent Cheers. comparison. What what great bourbon people these are. <laughs> totally different mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. The mouthfeel is totally different. It is. The flavor's a lot different. It's totally different. I'm getting like a mocha, almost like a mocha. Yeah. Like you a know. coffee ground. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and then the baking spice, the rye spice is so much more turned down. Mm -hmm. 
and I know that there's a substantial difference between 107 and and, and 121, right? 121, yeah. But holy crap, man, yeah. it's like two different. And just a year difference in age. Yeah, really interesting. Uh, man, that that's tough. That's that's tough. It is tough. Uh, I think. I think I like this one better. I might have to go back to the tenure, though. I am really conflicted. I I love doing this. Contrary to what you people watching may believe. We don't put a ton of planning into this. We're like, what are we doing for this episode? I was like, we're going to drink both of these. And Glenn has kind of a panic attack. Like, well, what's our hook? What are we going to do? I was like, we're just going to drink them. I love being surprised because the our worst case scenario is these taste exactly the same. And we tell you, hey, you know, they're about the same. S- Sorry, I didn't mean it. No, go ahead. I was rambling. This one just has such a deeper flavor. It is. More of a barrel char flavor like i feel like i can taste the age on this one more than the 10 year which i know it's a year older but that shouldn't make that big of a difference right this is delicate yeah this is i say delicate it's still 107 proof this is more nuanced more delicate a little bit more of a like oh you know i'll hold your hand and take you through this 10 year is a madman yeah like an absolute madman of, I'm gonna suck you right in your palate and you're gonna like it and then ask for more. And I love that. I love that they are so different because if you bought the 11 year first and you're like, oh, I really like that, I'm gonna try the 10 year. And the 10 year's like, we're not the same, buddy. <laughs> or vice versa. They're not the same. Yeah, I think if you're a, a real lover of in your face, hard nose, rye whiskeys, you're probably gonna like the 10 year better. But if you like something a little more refined, a little more oaky, where you really like to taste the barrel char, go with the 11 year. I like both of them, honestly. I like them both <laughs> I, too, I, but I, think, and I, I think, think I prefer the 11 year. And this is an interesting thing about Old Overholt. You know, price point wise, it's very affordable. You know, I think we talked about this, the 114 proof was, you know, the, the their standard old overholds like what, 25 bucks or yeah. something. These, if these were bourbon from Jim Beam with 10 and 11 year age statements, you'd be paying like 180, 190 mm-hmm. bucks because their rise, they're 80 and 100 bucks, which is strange. The finish on that 11 year. Pretty damn good. I, I am amazed at how different they are. They almost don't. They the, they don't taste like the same. They don't product. smell like the same product. No. They don't taste like the same product. But it it all comes back to it's hard not to be romantic about bourbon yeah, and whiskey. Awesome. I wish my original plan was to make this a blind. But Charlie poo pooed that. He was like, we can't really do a blind because one of us is going to know which one. Not necessarily. We, we, well, we I also figure said, it out. But anyway. I, I also glad. said that if we can't tell the difference between 121 <laughs> and 107, we probably ought to hang it up. And we know that going into it. Very and I'm pretty sure we would have nosed it and been like, that's the tenure. He always has to be right. That's, I can't <laughs> help it that I'm always right. I just am. I, I am glad we didn't do these as a blind because I'm more surprised now you're right on the 11 year that 11 year is just it's very like i don't want to i don't know i'm having a hard time putting that into words i will say so the 10 year with some of the notes i'm getting from the 10 year kind of reminds me some of the notes you get from a old forester barrel strength ride yep barbecue yep beef jerky type or a 95.5 mgp barrel proof yep and then this the 11 year is just something different. Oh my God. Smell. I did. I just finished. Although one. I just said, now I just got a hint of like that burnt, yeah. charred. Ugh. I love how different they are and how just completely. Let's write them. Okay. Start with the 10 year. I will give the 10 year a solid 7.625. 
I will give the 10 year a 7.5. Okay. I think we both, four reasons. I think price point wise, I think mm -hmm. that's excellent. I put it up there with any really good older aged MGP or, or any other high ride. The 11 year. 11 year, oh man. I'm, I'm going to have to give that an 8.25. It's bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. 7.99. I can't give it an 8 because it is, it is almost so, too unique. And what I mean by that is it is so far removed from what I expected from a cask strength rye. Like, this is what a cask strength rye should taste like, right? This is different. I need so some more time with that. I spent $100 on a bottle. Mm-hmm. I want it to stand up. I want it to taste different from all the other ryes that I buy. That is different. That is so unique. I don't know that I've ever had a rye that tastes like that. I don't disagree. And I, so that's why it's an 8.25, and that's why you're stupid. <laughs> that just happened. And if you want more hard-hitting, make fun of Charlie content like this, make sure you like and subscribe here on YouTube. Absolutely. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Sewing to Bourbon Whiskey Realtor on TikTok. And as always, keep those wallets loose and your bungholes tight. Good night, old Overholt. Peace out. Really old Overholt. That's good. Don't you ever call me. Let's just drink it out of the bottle. <laughs> Let's just drink. Maybe that'll be our gimmick. Butt chugs. <laughs> I'm sweating. Woo. Are you going to be okay? No, I don't know. All right. It's hot all of a sudden. Let's do this. Oh, oh. Dude, what is going on with my laptop right now, brah? Three, two, one, action.